currently in the shop right now, we're building a kitchen that has a microwave, under cabinet microwave. And so we build a special cabinet that houses our under cabinet microwave. I've drawn out my shop drawing. My shop drawing shows that we have a 16 inch by 30 inch area set aside. This is where the microwave will go right here and this is the cabinet that will go around it. Now I build my cabinet a little different for a microwave because under cabinet microwaves are a little deeper than a standard 12 inch deep cabinet. So I build my microwave upper cabinet at 14 inches deep. I've listed my face frame pieces on this and here's my panel pieces that we'll do and so we'll cut all our pieces now and assemble our face frame and then assemble our cabinet. We've now milled all our parts based upon our cut lists. This is our face frame cut list right here, and this is our face frame parts. These are our panel pieces, and this is our panel cut list. And we've cut everything to size so we can get started. The first thing we'll do is assemble our face frame. So we'll drill our pocket holes and screw our face frame together, and then we'll go ahead and start assembling the cabinet. getting ready to assemble our face frame we've drilled our pocket holes and we have our styles and our rails and we'll screw it together and this will create the face of our microwave cabinet we don't typically make a face frame the cabinet job that we're doing is a European style frameless construction but we build a face frame for the microwave cabinet because of the special frame that it creates around the microwave Okay, we've now completed our face frame piece, and so we'll start working on the panels. I'll show you each step as we go through, so we'll set our face frame off to the side, and we'll work on the panels, and get the box put together, and then the face frame goes on last. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to nail a quarter inch piece to the inside of our upright panels. And that will create a one inch thick panel along the bottom and we'll glue those on and nail them with headless pins. And there's our right hand side, so we have a left and a right. Okay. Now we'll nail in the panels, top and bottom, to create our box that's over the microwave. As I nail the box together, you'll notice that I use a 18 gauge finished ga nail gun to nail it to pla in place, and then I go back with a staple gun and put large staples in that hold it in place and make it solid. piece. Now we'll put our floor piece in. I'll turn it around here so I can work on it a little bit easier. But this 
little lip right that is created here with the quarter inch and the three quarter inch, this little lip here, that floor is going to sit on that lip. That gives me a 16 and this piece of wood is 16 and three quarters. There'll be a three quarter inch overlap that will come from the face frame and that will create my 16 inch opening for my microwave. So we'll nail that floor in now and then we're getting ready for the face frame. of the things we want to remember as we're nailing is this cabinet goes against an, an, an upper that is only 12 inches deep so we have two inches showing here so we don't want to use our big staple out beyond that two inch mark because that would be a hard full hole to fill. The little nail is fine and up on top where we have the staples that's going to be covered by a crown mold, so we don't need to worry about that. But we just have to make sure that we don't put a staple out in the face of our cabinet where it's going to show beyond the other upper. Okay, the next step in our cabinet is to nail on the face frame. The face frame fits over the top of the box that we've just built, just like this. And we just glue and face nail it on. We'll fill the holes and sand it out. And then we're almost ready for finish. This is a very simple cabinet, but in order to fit correctly around the microwave, these are the steps we have to take. And I'll show you a little bit more when we get closer about some of the detail work that we do to make it look like it's real trimmed out nice. But first thing we'll do is we'll nail on the face frame. The next thing we want to make sure we have flush is this inside shelf. We want to make sure that this is flush right here and we're right on where we need to be. Our layout worked out just perfect. So let's nail that right now. One of the other things I putty, even though it doesn't show, this is where the microwave will sit in here and it will cover all of this edge and stick out a little bit. But even though it does, I do finish this edge and I putty the holes. So we putty this glue line and we putty the little holes. Now we'll wait for the putty to dry and sand. On the outside of the cabinet, we've puttied the face now and on the outside we're going to putty also. On the face frame, I made the face frame just a little bit wider than the cabinet itself so I can putty this whole line down through here where the face frame meets the cabinet. And then we'll sand, and when we sand away the putty, then our panel is flat to the face frame. We'll do that now. One last detail in our microwave upper. Our cabinet right next to it comes to right here and so we want a little round over. We're going to go from there up to the top of our top rail. So just on the outside we're going to do a quarter inch round over. We'll do that on both sides and then that'll be a nice smooth transition into the cabinet that's next to it. Okay, now we're ready to do our hand sand to break the edges and sand the edge of our uh, route. And then we'll do the final sand 150 and we're done and ready for the paint shop. There's our microwave cabinet. This is where the microwave goes. There'll be two doors up here. We'll take it to the paint shop now, finish the paint shop out. And then there's a few things that have to be nailed on after the paint. And I'll show you how to do that after we are done with the paint shop. And then we're done, ready for install. Welcome back. Yesterday we built our microwave upper cabinet. Last night I went and put it in the paint shop and stained and lacquered the edges. This morning I got it out of the paint shop and cleaned off the overspray with lacquer thinner. Now that we have all that done, there's a few things we need to do to finish it off before we install. I'll turn it upside down, but we're going to put a finish panel in here, a white finish panel in here on both sides. We're going to put a hanging cleat in it and we're going to put a back on the cabinet. 
We're also going to put two support pieces underneath here that will aid in the anchoring of the microwave when it goes in. We'll do all that and we'll show you how. put in the hanging cleat. We're only going to put a hanging cleat on the top. Now remember we're upside down. We're only going to put a hanging cleat in the top because we have to cut a plug in the, that is in the wall right now. We have to cut to allow the plug to come through and I'm not sure exactly where that plug fits so I don't want it to have the plug cut right into a hanging cleat here so we're just going to put a hanging cleat on the top there's cabinets on both sides, so this is going to be very secure. We don't need to have a hanging cleat top and bottom. Typically on an upper, we do. We just anchor this hanging cleat with finished nails from both sides, and we don't need to worry about nailing in from the outside because, again, we have cabinets on both sides. We'll tip our cabinet like this and finish putting some nails through here to complete our okay we now have our white sides in we have our hanging cleat it's time to nail on the back and I'm going to show you a little trick that I've learned over the years that will help you in, in putting your back on and helping in your building your cabinet in keeping it square. Now, I've cut my back, I've made sure my back was square, but I've cut my back a sixteenth of an inch narrow and a sixteenth of an inch short. We'll make it flush with the top of the cabinet. Remember, we're upside down. So, we'll make it flush with the top and we'll hold it flush against this side and flush against this side, making sure that it holds our cabinet square. We'll be a sixteenth of an inch short here and a sixteenth of an inch short here, but it won't make any difference. This is where our microwave goes and we have a cabinet here. So it doesn't make any difference that we're a little short on that, but it helps us square up the cabinet and hold that cabinet square. Little trick I've learned. And I do that on all my cabinets. All my backs are a sixteenth of an inch narrow and a sixteenth of an inch short on height so that I can use that as a squaring mechanism when I nail the back on. Okay, our back is nailed on. Let's see how we did. Looks good. All right. Now we have one last thing to do. Remember, this is where our microwave goes. This is the cabinet up above it. Here, I'm going to put in a cleat. As the microwave goes in, this will allow them to anchor the microwave top or bottom, depending upon the microwave anchoring system, and gives them something to push against. I have a three-quarter inch overhang here, and I'll put a three-quarter inch thick, four-inch wide cleat. Here's our anchoring cleat. I put a banding on one side to make it nice and clean. We're going to stick it right here in the corner and we're going to anchor it with inch and a quarter nails. Just like that. Flush, flush. Microwave will sit right in here. Now we'll do that to the other side. Okay, just like that. We're ready for the installation and for them to put the microwave in. That's how we do microwave uppers that give it a little more of a custom look, make the microwave a little more built in. Thanks for watching our YouTube video on how to build a microwave upper. Be sure to subscribe and thank you for watching Woodworking with Wes.